What's up, everybody? Uh, we're here answering that old question, how long is my cylinder? Um, I'm here with Rolly. Rolly's got thousands of old cylinders just laying around, so I figured this was a good opportunity to use some of his uh, uh, hoarderness Stock. to, yeah, uh, <laughs> to uh, you know, answer that question. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to be holding the camera. He's going to be moving some stuff around and kind of answer that question as easy as possible. So... <clears throat> So, <clears throat> to answer the question quickly, the easiest way to explain it is you want to take your cylinder. This is a common cylinder that you'll see now. You'll take the cylinder and measure from the beginning of the threads to about a mm, quarter of an inch uh, back. Now, as you can see from this, this is roughly a 10. It's right on right right where the the shaft basically stops so <clears throat> so basically this is a 10 that's the easiest way to to measure out something like that but now you've got some of your old school stuff that's made different like this is the old reds and you know the the front of it is beveled off uh, or or concaved so it's a little bit different so you have to do the same thing put it on the edge and you see somewhere right in here is where it stops so so technically speaking this is probably closer to a ten and a half but but see that's the beauty of it so many different manufacturers make this stuff that what they call certain things uh, versus what they actually are, are two different things but see another thing to consider is that you have a certain amount sticking out which is made probably maybe reds uh, thought ahead and made it specifically that way so you had a full 10 inches of travel so but you're gonna lose a little bit of, of what's sticking out to apply your cup so there's that part of it now to show you the inside of a cylinder and kinda how you know uh, basically how you come up with that we've got this one right here we're taking apart I'll go ahead and show you this is I believe a 16 all right so you got it measured from there basically this is a 16 some of it does stick out this is uh it's, it's pushed out already but that's not how it normally is all right so here's your uh your old reds <laughs> cylinder and basically you're measuring from the start of the threads to the part where it ends now this would have been considered an eight because it's got about a half inch left on it for <clears throat> for your um you know part that connects your cup all right so here's the inner shaft you can see right on the line there's eight and a half basically now a little bit of it's going to be sticking out so if it was about half inch sticking out you can see right there it's eight and a half so this would be considered an eight so not all of them are the same so keep in mind different manufacturers all make different ones and what they claim to be a you know an eight a ten whatever it could be different you know just by looking at this one right here i mean i can tell right away that it's a six but if you look at it it almost looks like an eight but i know that this is a six because it's so much smaller it probably um probably will probably would be uh, get a little bit more than uh, six inches of lift probably closer to seven but you get the point uh, they would call this a six not an eight just for the simple fact that it's not fully getting eight inches so if you compare this six to let's just say this eight you can kind of see the difference one's quite a bit bigger than the other you got a ten and you see the difference there different manufacturers all these are different manufacturers and then we got this uh, 16 back here same thing you got a little bit left over there's a 16 <clears throat> and we had this uh, monster one on the ground over here we wasn't really sure what it was but it was like about a 17 and some change of course we don't know how old this thing is <clears throat> So, mm, 
about 17 and a half give or take it, it almost looks like an 18 and it may might have been or might have been claimed that way so anyway to answer that question that's that's to answer the how long is my cylinder question hopefully that helps and make sure that you subscribe and share the videos because more videos come when more shares and more views so uh, keep them up share them if you can like them do everything you can to get them out there appreciate it